Um, sometimes, you know, I volunteer for things and not knowing what I'm getting into. <laughs> pretty much how the uh, house got started, pretty much. Uh, uh, but anyway, um, the, the purpose of tonight is to give you voice without the voice. Because um, we're all passionate and, um, you know, if you remember um, the mayor's meeting, uh, there were no time limits. And if anybody got to talk, we'd be there past midnight. So this exercise is something that we, um, we're going to give you voice. Um, you see, this is all a blank slate. Um, at the end of the night, it's going to be real colorful. And uh, you're going to be breaking out into groups, and then you're going to be finding it. So if you wanted to really uh, get your voice out, then volunteer it to be that person in your group that comes forth and explain what your group went through. Okay? So. Um, we use this at the school all the time because you know if you ask kids what they want for a school lunch, uh, you get a million things. Uh, if you ask them what they want for electives, you get a million things. So uh, we've used this time to time. It's uh, tied to total quality management, and it's a way to get stakeholder information. We're not going to be so much looking at the solution tonight, and that's for a later meeting where we kind of weigh out the disadvantages with the benefits. And then we start forming action groups. Uh, tonight, merely, is to define. And I think that um, this is a way to define it with so many people in the group. Like I said, it went on and on and on and on. Uh, we never get through the night, and we get nowhere. Uh, kind of like uh, when I was at, um, you know, the mayor stopped me because I was starting to go on and on. So I'm pretty passionate about the subject. So this is kind of like a nonverbal exercise. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be coming up. I got a lot of pants, a lot of tickets, and uh, you're going to be putting up, uh, you know, where your affinity is, where your manao is. And uh, some of you have experienced it um, uh, personally. Some is environmental, some is health issues, some is uh, geographical, some is cultural um, with that of Delhi. And then a lot of you are over here and say, oh, we got great alternatives, so that's your report. And then, you know, I know there were geothermal supporters in that room uh, that night. They never got to speak, so we never got to really hear with them. So that's what we want to do. We want to flush it up, and we really want to define it tonight. So um, you'll be coming up, and this is an exercise, and you'll be putting, uh, writing on a piece. Please write clearly, you know, print if you can. And you put it, be putting these posters um, and these things. We'll have uh, people at the board and we'll be organizing them. And pretty soon on this board you're going to see bullet points. And you're going to see specific bullet points on all of your manal. And then uh, the fun part of it is um, uh, the second part of the exercise is going to be coming up and you're going to take one blue dot off of this sheet, one red dot, and one yellow dot. And the blue dots were five points. The red dot is worth three points, and the yellow dot is worth one point. You can use all of the dots on one of your most, um, of, of your highest concern, of your highest priority. Or you can spread it out, you can use the blue dot in your highest priority, use the red dot on your second highest priority, and your yellow dot on your uh, least priority. Or you can just multiply it, you can split them up two and one priority. When, when we see, and, and, and you know, bear with us, when, when you see the second part of the exercise, you're going to say, aha, 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 because they'll be glaring on dots in that category. And then, when, when if you're, uh, and this is called an affinity diagram, and it'll be all, you'll see it clearly. And then what I want to do is take the most, uh, uh, the subjects of the most dots and break them into uh, groups. And I want one reporter and one person that will report back to the group at the end of the night for about five minutes. And uh, we're going to have to spread out the group a little bit. You know, it's better, this works better with uh, groups of eight, but I think we can handle it. But uh, we have uh, uh, these uh, flip chart uh, boards for you to report. And then um, we come up one group at a time and report at the end of the night. And that's where the voice would be. So Steve, we yeah. just have the three main categories because we can't make another category. Oh yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Other, other, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why you write down there. Good, good, good uh, topic. Well, can you write other on the way on the other side? Very good. Well, you have to speak. 
Yeah. Mr. Whiny represents right. the family people. Hold on, hold on. He's going to speak here. He yeah. needs to speak. Yeah. Before yeah. we go into this whole thing. And we have these little pieces of paper here and write on them while we're sitting down. Sure. And then what did we hand all of them to Barbara? No, just put them up on the wall. We just put them up on the wall. Yeah, just put them on the wall. All right. Yeah. Oh, you can sit and do them, or you can come up here. We got the three tables, there's yeah. plenty of things, plenty of things. So you got to get up anyway to uh, put them on the board. Huh? So yeah. On the way to the board, you can write the three Well, the stable people don't want to have to stand oh, there. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, are you done, Steve? Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> Explaining? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now that he's done explaining it, I'll just explain it again. <laughs> okay, just a little. Okay, so we're gonna have you come up here. You're gonna write your ideas, and you are not limited in any way. And guess what? The same person can have pros and cons. Okay, so you're gonna write your ideas on the slips of paper. There's plenty here, and there's more. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of time. Then you're gonna take your slips of paper, and you're gonna put it where you think it belongs. Okay, I'm going to need a couple of volunteers from the audience to help with this exercise. Okay, I have one, thank you, two, three, four, thank you. Okay, I think I have enough. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. In, in, my, in my little spiel here, I, I might answer your question. Then, we're going to have the uh, volunteers come up, look at what the, what the writings are on the slip, and rearrange them if they think they need to. If they think that it's not in the right group, they'll put it where they think it's the right group. Then, you guys are going to get, oh, and for those of you who thought you were coming with your two cents, guess what? You just got to raise. We're all getting nine cents tonight. So you're going to get your nine cents worth. You're going to get your dots, and you're going to prioritize which are the most important to you. Okay, and like Steve said, you can put them all in the same place if you want to, or you can put them, scatter them throughout, it doesn't matter. So that's the way that's going to go. Okay, we had planned for you folks to come up and start doing that and have the speaker speak at the same time, but that is unrealistic, so thank you, Rob. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and have Polly Papu come and speak. Um, you know, hopefully he's going to do something in the background.